It's Lee. So I've had a few questions about the paper quality in the new English imprint books and because the paper is all the uh, same quality I thought I'd just test it out on the title page of Fairy Tales colouring book. So I've got my Inktense pencil here. I've already used that on the pink. I've got my Prisma colour and it's a watercolour so I've already used that one on the blue. My Tombile marker I've already used over here and my purple Tombile marker I've already used for this bit here and I mixed them all with my water barrel. Now if we turn the page over you'll see no marks whatsoever okay and I've got a protective piece there but there's nothing on it so I just colour it in so that you guys can see as well that as long as you don't put too much water on here you should be fine so I'm just going to add some pink uh, ink tents and I don't profess to know how to use these by the way and um, also because I can't see in the camera I have a uh, it's a weird situation when you're colouring and you're recording. So I've added my ink tents and I'm just going to use my water barrel uh, pencil marker. So the brush is a little bit damp so I've got a tissue here just to wipe off the ends. And we'll start adding away. Now I do have the fan on so it's blowing everything around. And as I said, this is not going to be perfect because um, I'm filming standing up, so it's a bit, a bit weird trying to colour it in standing up. So just pushing that pink around a little bit more. And if we check over on the other side, there is nothing there. I'll just move it over so that you can see absolutely nothing has gone through so just going to blot my little water barrel there over on the side now we'll try the uh, Prismacolor the watercolor pencil so this is not a standard Prismacolor pencil it's a watercolor and uh, these are so soft and creamy they're just fantastic so I don't really use them so using them tonight was uh, a new experience. So we can see that the blue went on, no problem at all. Nothing on our over page, it's all fine. So just, you know, like everything, you've got to make sure that you don't uh, put too much water on it. The water barrel, you've always got to make sure that you do wipe it off when you're using different colours. Now the other one that I used was my purple Tombow marker. So all of these things so far have been water based. So I haven't tested it at all with alcohol based ones. But don't worry, we'll, we'll give that a whirl. Now alcohol is more than likely going to seep through because remember these aren't really even designed for watercolour so we don't want to make them too wet because otherwise the other page over the side will probably buckle. So they're not really designed for watercolour and they're certainly not designed for alcohol based markers. Now I just put down the Tombow straight without any uh, water on there. Now this is probably still damp so I'm trying to not touch it with my hand and I have of course just uh, added a dot there underneath <laughs> it's really hard to colour standing up um, I have hard enough time just normally okay so that was the Tombow and let's have a look on the other side nothing on the page no show through whatsoever and the page isn't buckling at all but remember it's only a small area so um, obviously you know some of you might like to live dangerously and put alcohol markers on here um, really alcohol markers going to bleed through but you know let's give it a whirl let's live dangerously so these are my new spectrum nor illustrator markers I showed you the other day and these are alcohol based 
So we'll see if they bleed through. And I have got used to that barrel by the way, it's really easy to use. Uh, so just going to go with the small nib and maybe do a little love heart or something. Take a little love heart and colour it in. And it does bleed through, okay? So water based, fine. Spectrum Noir, Copics, Sharpies, etc. No, okay? So water based is good. Spectrum Noir, Copics, Sharpies, etc. are all a no. Okay, so that's it for the Fairy Tales uh, paper quality check. So just remember, if you use these ones lightly without uh, putting too much uh, water on there and making it too damp, then you're good to go with those ones. But make sure your colouring style might be, you know, more water, etc. So you always have to test it with your style. So test it on the front page like I've done and do not use these ones, okay? So that's it for me today. Until next time, happy colouring.